What's up YouTube, Dennis Films here with another tutorial and today we're talking about five techniques that you can use with only one light on your next project. Let's get into it. There's a few things I want to state before we get into it. One, I use the Aperture 120D Mark II and the Light Dome. This is not necessary to do or pull off these lighting techniques. It can be any light, it doesn't matter. This is just my go-to. And secondly, a tip that I learned a while ago, which is a very important tip, you always light for shadows. And that's something that has helped me tremendously. The first lighting technique is three-quarter lighting. Now, it's usually my go-to when I'm pulling up on set and then trying to figure out. I will start off with three-quarter to see where I'm at. When I'm not going for such a dramatic look, it still has its shadows on to the side. It's lighting a majority of the face, three-quarters of the face. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your light, place it about three o'clock of your subject, and you're just gonna lift it up. You do wanna have your light a little bit high so the, the shadows fall down and not going sideways or you know, whichever way. It's a very common lighting technique. Uh, something, like I said, I've used plenty of times, but let's get into a more shadow, shadowing. Two is split lighting. To achieve split lighting, you're just gonna take your light, place it on the side of your subject, directly on side, and what it's gonna do is gonna create a split in the middle of their face. One side with nothing but darkness, and the other side with just lighting. Now, I use this for very, very dramatic scenes like interrogation or realization of a dark nightmare or just something that's very dramatic and ominous. And it's just one of my favorite things to do with dramatic lighting is split lighting. Number three is silhouette lighting. Also very simple to achieve and can be done with any light, but it's not and should not be used on every single project because it's a very unique lighting. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your light, you're gonna place it on the side of your subject, but not facing your subject, or you can place it actually anywhere as long as the light is behind or on the side of your subject and hitting the wall behind them. Then you're gonna take your subject, turn them sideways, so you can get that nice outline. Is It's gonna create a silhouette effect. It works really well for performances when you turn your subject sideways because you can see their lips moving when they're rapping, singing, performing, whatever it may be. Um, it just, it's a very unique lighting setup and I do not think it should be in all projects. Let's get to the fourth type of lighting, which is overhead lighting. And it really, in all honesty, if I can, this is my go-to lighting. What you're gonna need is a C-stand with an arm. So you're gonna take your light, place it on the arm of the C-stand, you're gonna raise it above your subject. It's gonna overhang over your subject. And the reason I choose this lighting is because it isolates the light. So you're not getting spill on any of the background, it's just lighting your subject because it's directly below. Now the only thing you gotta worry about is bounce from the floor. Depending on what type of floor it is, like if it's like white ceramic floor, you're gonna have bounce and you may need to pertain that with uh, a V-flat or something black to absorb the light. And the fifth technique. So the fifth technique is something I've personally never done, but I see a few people do it, like they're using Frankenstein movies or any of that super tr just dramatic uh, villain movie where you're seeing the shadows come up, protrude, because the light is being below. But let me explain how to achieve this first. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your light, put it below your subject facing up. Now you're gonna have to play around with this. I enjoy soft lighting, so I have my soft box on my 120D still. It's gonna take those shadows, say of your nose and your eyes, and it's gonna protrude them upward, giving a very villain look. You may see some people when they're around campfire in scenes, you know, take the flashlight and tell a scary movie. I mean, tell a scary story, and they just have it, and it's just so shadowy, and it's just lighting like this little V area right here, which, like I said, I've never used, I've never had the situation to use it, but I will in the future, and it's just something to throw in there. You never know, you may need it tomorrow or the next week of something of your project, but I just wanted to give you an extra one just to, but anyways, guys, I enjoyed making this tutorial because lighting is one of my favorite things and of course I'm still learning it. It's never ending process. Lighting is gonna change your entire image, I promise you. So if you don't own lighting, at least get one light. You can try these techniques or if you have multiple lighting, challenge yourself to light your subject with only one light and make it dramatic. 
But anyways, guys, I just released some new products in my store. I got distortion pack, I got LUTs, I got all the goodies, which you can check in the link in the description. And guys, have a great day. As always, keep creating and making dope shit. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.